Okay, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at loading data into our R markdown file. So, there are two kinds of data we're going to look at. We're going to look at the native R, uh, extension .r data files. Then you're going to look at CSV and XLS files. So, basically, we say loading data. Now the command is quite simple. Okay, for the dot r data extension, you need to come to file. Then you look for where you store the data. In my case, it's here in tutorials, data and files, and then you open the file. Now on opening the file, it will be loaded into your global environment. Let's say that, load that, that, that. That has been loaded. Okay. Now it's loaded into the global environment, but not loaded into our file. So it can't be used as per now. But to do that, you put on the command load. Then you write the name of the file exactly as it appears exactly as it appears in your in your folders and don't forget to add the extension otherwise it won't work now this has essentially loaded the data to a file now you can confirm and actually view the data you can uh, give it a name data that and then display data so click that okay when you run that we see that our data has three data frames that is this click here there's three data frames It will be q1.df, q2.df, and q3.df. That's about loading that. Now let's do one for Excel. Excel is uh, it's different. Okay. So for Excel, we need to call up the read.csv function. So I'll read the CSV function and then after that you need to type in the exact location where your folder your data actually is. So in my case it is in C C folder under users. Make sure that the name users is it starts with a capital letter in your username. Either the user in which if it is guest, type it guest. My case is password. And then uh, my data is set is in documents. That's my brother. And then I have a folder called R in documents. And then the actual data set is called fin underscore C. Dot CSV. It's quite important that you include the dot CSV if you only include the name of the file. Then this will not work. This will read the CSV file, but if you want to display it again, let's go see. Make sure that happens like that, and then we type in. Okay, we can actually just display the, the, the headers. Of this data type. Let's go see. So, if you run this part, make sure first this plays is the first data set. The, uh, the dot r data set. Then now it shows us the fin data set, which has all these 
uh, names or headers in the data set. That's it. I hope uh, you find it easy loading data into Markdown. Then now uh, we can go on into manipulating this data, creating new data frames, or filtering out data frames, filtering into particular sections, and then running a few analysis, plotting, uh, graphs, bar charts, scatter plots, and whatnot. Thank you. See you in the next one.